Hey guys, it's Alicia from Pate Ranch Crafts and Creations, and I wanted to show you all something neat that I uh, made over Father's Day time frame that was a huge seller for me. I like it because it caters to more the, uh, the male gender of the crafts and things that they like to buy and the wives like to buy for them. So it's a big seller. Uh, it's This is it. It's basically engraving an ammo can. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to do a demo today of how to do that, and I'm going to share the settings for you. So what, I have a mirror nine, which is awesome because it has enough Z depth to be able to accommodate the size of this. So we'll give you a demo on how to do it today. Okay, for today, my logo that I want to put on the front, this is a double-sided one. So on the front one, um, I'm actually a, a partner with Folds of Honor. So we're going to put their logo on the front of one of the sides of the can, and the other side is going to be a cadet logo. So let me show you what my settings are. For ammo cans, I run at 350 speed, minutes per second, or millimeters per second. My max power for uh, knocking off powder coating is 35. And then my line of interval is 10, and I have a 100 watt laser. Or actually, it's 90, but runs at 100 if I max it out. So, anyway, that's what the settings look like. So, we want to always make sure we go through and do a preview. Looks good. That's what the black is what's going to engrave. And then finally, we need to go over here and we need to do a frame on our box. It's exactly where I want it. One thing to point out with my, all of my jobs, I have the job origin in the center. So that allows me to use the current position. If I move the laser head over on the controller to wherever I want, I know where center is. So I find the center of whatever object I want to engrave, put the laser head right over it, and that's always where it's going to start. Then I know on my logo, the green dot is center. So I'm always squared up on my piece of art or whatever cutting board that I'm gonna engrave on. All right, we're almost done. One thing about doing metal is it stinks, so you do smell it. We're getting close. Okay, so for me, I gotta do two of these. So I want perfect placement on each of them so that when they're sitting next to each other, one doesn't look different from the other. So I'm, I'm not gonna move my, my laser head at all. I'm gonna remove this box and I found the center point again from left to right on this second box. So all I gotta do is measure up that same location with where this head is, and it should be the same place from top to bottom. So let me do that now. Okay, so again, I've lined up my laser head on the center from left to right, and the location from top to bottom should be uh, exactly what the other one was. So all we gotta do is tell it to go ahead and burn again. So the final thing that we need to do to clean this up is, is get the residue off that came from the powder coat and removal from the laser. I like to use this. I've been through several different cleaners, but this stuff, it's called LA's Totally Awesome, and, and guess what it is? It's, it is awesome stuff. I use it on a lot of applications. I use it on my Arctic cups, anything metal that I do, and it's actually great for around the house. Um, they say that it brings, gets crayons out of carpet and all kinds of stuff. I haven't tried that yet. So anyway, I, I just spray some over the, the design that we removed the powder coating. Let it set for a second. And what should happen is I'm gonna use a paper towel and I'll wipe this up and it should remove all of the, uh, the residue. Starting to get it. I got a little more that I need to put on there. Sometimes just being patient and letting it sit. 
Looks like we got a good, a very nice engrave on this ammo can. Very happy with that. And then what I'd like to do after that is put a little coat of oil on there. Let me see if I can find some. I'm out of uh, olive oil, so oops. <laughs> so just a little bit of oil to kind of make it pop. There we go.